I'm not even hungry, especially with McDonald's. But you know, eating a hamburger in amber, it's like using a drill on a drill or throwing a window through a window. Hmm? I find it funny. Breakfast, check. Checking the traffic, check. And visiting the gallery in my bedroom, check. I'm right at the seventh. So you can hear someone giving numbers about sales and so on. Um, my turn is coming in an hour, so I am still uh, reviewing my, my slides. I wanted to explain you what I was going to say today, but I think with the noise, I will do this better. It was a very good party, but now it's over. I finished my presentation at Airbus this morning. Now I have 90 minutes to discover Hamburg. Hamburg? 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 Hamba. For now I'm going to cross this river, the Elba, using a tunnel. Just and right. Yeah. So the tunnel is it was there, you understand. I propose to walk you through the presentation I did this morning at Airbus. As I told you last week, this talk was the first motivational talk I have ever given. This time I've been asked to use my personal story as an entrepreneur to talk about uncertainty. Of course, talking about uncertainty isn't enough. There is a few pieces missing. This, this is a tunnel. It's a very particular one because actually, you see, you have lifts. You have four lifts. So when a car wants to cross, it has to take the lift, go down, cross, and go up on the other side. We are going to follow the persona aufzug. No, persona non aufzug. Okay, I have to tell you something, it stays between us. I studied German for eight years. And before coming here, I had to ask how to say please or thank you. So it's Peter and Decker now, I know. I've studied German at school, but uh, I think it's my second time in Germany. I'm already hopeless in English, so I won't even go in the German language. So this morning they wanted me to talk about my story from a successful entrepreneur first in Australia then in France and then the massive failure I lived in France with this bloody bloody car I try to tell them uncertainty is not alone. We are living what Americans call VUCA world. It's an acronym for volatility because the U for uncertainty, okay? The C for complexity. And the last one is ambiguity. And as a manager, ambiguity is very important because today you've been asked to do something and to do the opposite. For example, you, you need to spend less and to do more. I just gave them a few ideas, a few things I have implemented in my teams before I retired of this. As you know, now I'm a freelance working for me with people I love. It's the end of the tunnel. If I have a choice or lift, or stairs, but I think stairs, uh, I think it's a bit ambitious for me. The crazy guy who pushed Europe into the First World War. Ja, was? Ja, German 
girls are not all blonde, it's a cliche. Don't be like that. I think I must be a very touristic place because everybody speaks English here. Hamburg seems to be a very nice little city. I just have no idea where I am in the city and where this city is located in, in Germany. No idea. I don't know. Do you know the Rigmer Rigmos? The Rigmer Rigmos. Even if ideally me is Australia and I really hope I will go back there at some point uh, in the near future. So exciting that in Paris actually, or if you live in London or anywhere in Europe, you take a plane and for just a few bucks and an hour, an hour and a half of flight, you are in a totally different country, different weather, uh, not so much today, uh, different people, different language. It, you just have to take the metro, book a ticket. You can now fly across Europe for uh, 50 to 70 bucks, go somewhere just for a day. It's so great for opening your mind. I'm not sure I understand because French can be so close-minded sometimes. And I think oh, I like Germany. It's, wow, it's very good. People are nice, easy to talk with. They speak English. <laughs> Don't try this experience in France. Now I'm following the, the, this suspended right track to see where it goes. Be careful with this word. Here. 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 In German, in here. In French, hier means yesterday. I have nothing to tell you about Hamburg, as I don't know the city. I didn't check on the internet to have anything to say. So I'm just discovering the city. And one thing for sure, even if Germany seems great place to visit, and Germans are very welcoming, Germany in February, maybe not such a good idea. There is church and you can see someone at the top of it. Just checking the time. Let's see if we can do it. I can bet with you which church is called Saint Michael. Not very welcoming. Not very welcoming at all. 12 minutes to go up. Hey, five upstairs, ten to go down. such a good idea. Yes, light. Oh yes. I'm happy to be there. Okay. So, I was there. Can you see these rocks? We had a lot of them in Paris, on the bridge, so lovers could throw the keys on the sand. But here, do you think they throw the key overboard? 
but dangerous. I read that the church is as you can see there isn't a lot of building built before 1943 44 I think it's been kind of quite damaged during the war it's only new buildings everywhere now I have a plan to catch seriously no. No, 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 I said no, no, be serious, enough, I have a plan to catch. Ah, okay, just to have a look. Closed, not my fault. I'm lucky on that one. I need a taxi. The boss of Airbus engineering team offered me this gift. Actually, it's a model of a plane. It's the same one, but I think smaller. Or maybe if I put it in water, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 